x minus y called 3x cubed plus y cubed equals 65. x and y are real numbers. We want to find x and y. So we see degree is 3. First, let's try. Can we find any answer here? It's 3. So, for example, if y is 0, x is 3, doesn't work. If y is 1, x equal to 4, so it will be x equal to 4, y equal to 1. First equation will be correct. Second one, 4 cubed plus 1 cubed. 4 cubed is 64. 1 cubed is 1 equal to 65. It works. So, this is one answer. But we should analyze and find all the answers and prove they are the only answers. So from this part, if we take negative y to right hand side, x will be y plus 3. And if we replace x with y plus 3 in second equation, this cube will replace x with y plus 3 cube plus y cube equal to 65. Now here it is something plus something cube. You should know the identity if we have a plus b cube. It is a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b. If we apply this here, a is y, b is 3. a cube is y cubed plus 3a squared, 3y squared, b is 3 plus 3ab squared is y 3 squared plus b cubed, which is 3 cubed plus y cubed here equal to 65. Now, let's simplify this. y cubed, 3 times 3, 9 y squared 3 squared is 9 this part 3 times 9 27 times y 27 y plus 3 cubed is 27 plus y cubed equal to 60 now here we have y cubed here y cubed here so 2y 9y squared is 9y squared. So it is okay, it is okay, it is okay. 27y. Now we take 65 to left hand side because we want to solve this. Plus here, 27 minus 65 equal to 0. Calculate this part will be 38 negative. We have negative. So we can say u y q plus 9 y squared plus 27 y minus 38 equal to 0. We want to solve this, but we want to find at least one answer for y. From first part, y1 works. If you check here also, q plus 9, 11 plus 27, 38 minus 38, 0. Because y equal to 1 is one answer, so one. if you want to factorize, we can say y minus 1. It is one of the most useful ways to factorize a cubic function. Now, I want to create 2y cubed, so I place here 2y squared. It will be 2y cubed minus 2y squared. I have 9y squared, so I should place 11y place 11y squared minus 11y. Now I have 9y squared. Now I want to reach 27y. Here I have negative 11y. So if I place 38 here, 38 minus 11 is 27y. It's okay. 38 minus 1 minus 38. It will be exactly this equal to zero now we have two cases this part is zero or this part is zero so y minus one equal to zero or two y squared plus eleven y 
plus 38 equal to 0. From this part, y equal to 1, and we know x minus y is 3, so y equal to 1, x is 1 plus 3, 4. And x equal to 1 plus 3, 4, 1 answer for this. Now, second one, 2y squared. For this part, we should use quadratic formula. In quadratic formula, when we have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we call inside the square root discriminant b squared minus 4ac. It should be at least 0 because if it is negative, it's inside square root and our answer x, we want to be real number. So here, if we calculate discriminant in this part, instead of x here, we have what? a equal to 2, b equal to 11, the coefficient of this, and constant term equal to 38. Discriminant is b squared minus 4 a c is 11 squared minus 4 a is 2 c is 38. 11 squared is 1, 2, 1. And 4 times 2 is 8 times 38. So it will be 1, 2, 1 minus. 8 times 8, 4, 64, we have 6. 8 times 3, 24, plus 6, 30. So if we calculate these two terms, it will be negative 4 minus 1, 3, then minus 2, 8. This okay, so we will see it is less than 0. So in this part, we don't have any real solution. So our only answer is y equal to 1 next equal to four please don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell and like the video if you find any other solution better solution or shorter solution you can comment below this video thanks for watching this video bye